sit down as PS2. Nope, we're going town and city. Interesting. <laughs> Starts up. Okay. That's so, a statement. <laughs> so I'm interested to see why. Um, did they? Yeah, they, no, they um they agreed to this, right? They heard who agreed to this. What the stage? Yeah. Um, I, I, I think didn't, this I is didn't. more advantageous for Pikachu, in my opinion. Probably. I, I think I'm inclined to agree with you there. But at the same time, uh, you know, it's Dark Samus probably doesn't hate platforms too much, nor FD. I don't think it's going to be too bad for it, either one. I hope you guys uh, don't veto me. I know Donnie's the champ, but... No, I, no, no. I, I suck. Yeah, it's going to be it's, it's, it's going to be interesting to see the projectile wars, I think. Um, once they have distance among each other, I, I'm interested to see it who wins. More, it seems more like a close um, corner battle. To They're be doing honest, that so for far. now, and that's kind of surprising to me. Oh, snakes in the grab. I, I would have never gone for that grab. That was cra kind of crazy. Oh, he went for the sauce. You saw that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he, he got the bomb hit, and then tried to um go. I think he, if he didn't like angle the down or the forward smash, that would have been the stock. This is some next level Samus play. Ooh, tries to read the air dodge. Nope. nope. Oh, almost gets the charge shot in there. We got a decent edge guard here. Yeah. Oh, the turnaround grab expected maybe a roll or just misheard the distance. Dark Sam is doing a good job getting out of reach, but can't do it forever. You ever just do that? You ever just like, if you're down there, it doesn't like send you all the way down. Like, do you ever like just randomly down there before you grab ledge? Yeah, I can see that. I yeah. do that sometimes. I don't know, it's just a habit of mine. We all, we all got them. Rock's looking to take this stock. Oh, now, I like the I like the way he's using bomb. Just combo breakers in general. Yeah. And Oop. he's trying to use them as for confirms as well. Not panning out, but we'll see. All right. It looks like I gotta play my set. Oh. It's been a pleasure as always, dying. Good luck, bro. Yeah. Later, guys. Mm. Um, Neferfox is gonna throw away that um charge shot. Half charge shot. Yeah, I think this is one of Obsama's big issues, just killing. At 172 right now, this is... I don't want to say it's um out of the ordinary for Pikachu to live at such high percent, but, you know, you definitely don't want a character like Pikachu to um live that long. No, no 200 is just unacceptable. Thunder? Oh, no, doesn't get the um downward part of the hit. Yep, it's gonna use the um, gonna use the um, bombs as keep away, the down bombs. I don't know, miss, no, they're not missiles. What are they called? I don't know. Interesting how um, Pika Pika just uses Thunder off stage like that. They're gonna take it this this time. At 140 right now, um, Never Fox is looking decent right now, but. Pikachu, as we all know, take the stock at any moment right now. I like the delayed recovery, just not the um the get up option. Even game right now. Oh, uh, it's just and I see this. Oh, okay, no downward spike. But I see this a lot with um Samus players in general. Like they they opt for go for grabs more times than like the characters that should go for grabs. I don't know. Very interesting. Get them off stage, but off just to um keep the stage um stage pressure. Yeah, I, Pika Pika's playing his game right now. Waiting for him to like approach, see how he's gonna opt to um avoid these um thunder shocks and try to go from there. Yeah, um, another grab on the platform, nonetheless. I want to know what um, Nefer Fox's mindset is um, for going for these grabs at these um, at these neutral exchanges. Force smash, not gonna take it. This is still anyone dash attack. Gonna take it. 156. Game one goes to Pika Pika.
So I think Neprofuck needs to keep me, uh, me mindful of like how he's um, approaching, specifically when when opt to go for a grab, whether it's a good idea or not. He's definitely keeping us cool when um, Pika Pika was playing defensively. What's going on, Rob? Wanna commentate? Yeah, it is. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Alright, so, um, the original Animal Crossing stage. Oh, that, that is, that is some, um, arts and crafts combos right there. I, I don't know if that, uh, that wasn't true, but it's definitely not true. But that was, um, that was an interesting interaction right there. But, <laughs> Pika, um, Pikachu just gonna wreck up the damage like it's nothing. Oh, a spike down your hit, but, um, good DI from Pika Pika. Dying on the stage. So, I guess earlier I was saying like he shouldn't opt for the grabs, or rather like he should pick up or use, um, use the grabs at like the most opportune moments. But it seems to be working out for um, Neferfox right now. Back here to keep him off him from an edge guard. That was interesting um, reverse edge guard moment right there. Yeah, now they're both playing a keep away game. Back air, can I take it? I wonder if that was a shield poke. I think it had to have been. I don't think Pika P was going to drop his shield at that moment. I think Pika P is going to have to be mindful of that. If he wants to approach like that. Um, just Especially when um, uh, Never Fucks on shield. The up B, um, up B out of option. And these charge shots, he's um, working out really well for him right now. 90% on Pika Pika's um, second stock right now. This is looking really good for Neferfox right now. And that, <laughs> that other charge shot as a warning shot, like, yo, hey. What's good? Mm, I don't agree with that up B. And that delayed punish. It wasn't... Look, kind of delayed. I thought he was, was going to miss the punish for a second. But nonetheless, Pika Pika's going to take the first stock. Okay, there, there's the um the most interesting um option of the, um how he went for the thunder like that underneath the stage. That was really good. And then the charge shot um after that. I, I don't know what what is going on in this game. Like it, grabs are just seem to be working out for him for the most part. Like I, huge turnaround from last game. Smash, going work this time on ledge. Yeah, we're seeing once again Pika Pika just gonna take his time. Not not in a rush to approach. But underestimating the grab range, Neferfox is looking really good to take this um second game. Yeah, and this is this is just Pika Pika's just not mindful of that um option as he's attacking the shield. It's inter Ooh, okay. It's interesting how um for the most part Pika Pika isn't really opting like to go off stage with like an aerial, rather just staying off stage and throwing thunder jumps to maybe like get a gimped option. Um Get his jump and then like trying to punish that. Up air. Oh yeah, gonna take that. Neferfox taking game two. Game three. So uh, no one's gonna switch. I'm, oh, I'm opting this. Yeah, I'm opting to see um what stages um Pika Pika's gonna pick. Cause he could pick FD. Yo, oh, I was I was gonna say he could pick FD to like punish his landing options because Samus. Both the Samuses have a hard time landing. So where are we? I game three. It. One one. We're on game Nefer three. Um, Nefer Fox, Pika Pika, taking game one very convincingly. Nefer Fox switching around, like utilizing grabs, charge shots. Staying in a safe range yeah. out of Pikachu. Pikachu doesn't have that big of a range. That and of course quarter scary. it's in a course quarter um range, Pika Pika takes the um K 
escape the game, no problem. But I think Necrofox knew where he wanted to position himself game two. Like how he wants to um, keep him away. Mm -hmm. And know, like, condition him how he wants to uh, approach. Yeah, I think Samus can do a lot to play around those Thunder Jolts. Parrying is one option. So Pika Pika can't really camp him out, but he can do the same for him. But Pika Pika opting to pick this stage in general, and I feel like just to cut, like to punish his like his like his slow um landing options that Dark Samus has. Yeah, this is definitely a really good stage for Pikachu. Uh, platforms usually just get in the way of most of Pika's combos. That up throw sending a little too high, but gonna send out another one. Not gonna get the cloud though. Yeah, uh, Pika Pika going with the if that first you don't know, seed. Try, <laughs> try, try three again. times. Option. Yeah. But that dash attack almost could have taken that. The next one definitely will. Ooh, okay. Ooh. I don't agree with that up B, but we, we still alive. Maybe? Um, yeah, no, no I'm kill I'm sure was going to kill. Yeah, not from there. Mm. The Thunder Jolt. Gonna use oh, going to gonna read the right roll through, in. But the roll, he's, he's at a good distance to that cover stuff. that. Pretty completely, yo. He, you saw him charge yeah, up a little bit, yo. Hold on. Ooh, he... All right, all right. Just opts to go back to ledge. Keep him there in the corner. And that's what um, Pika Pika needs to be mindful of. Um, up B out of shield. That's yeah, been yeah. working really well. Especially game two for Neferfox. He's got to stay. So if he keeps his distance and understand what he wants to do when he's on shield, like, he's got the game in the bag. But at the same time, Nefer Neferfox just has a couple ways to keep him yeah, that out of his a bubble. Stuffs out the Thunder Jolts. Ooh, but this is a dangerous percent. Tried to go for the down air spike, but his up air going to catch him. Charge shot going to take yeah. it, man. Ooh, and he's throwing out a taunt No, he taunted zone. first. It, it, yeah, hey, hey. Eye for an eye. A taunt, taunt in response, and they're at pretty, pretty the same percents when uh, Pika Pika took that first stop. Yeah. Both players just opt in to stay at full distance it, it's here. He's showing up right now. Some he's looking like Perry the Platypus right now. <laughs> Just like, I got, I got this, I left this out. I know yeah, this. Yeah, he's warming up right now. During a set. Pika doing a good job, keeping yeah, him in the no air. Yeah, no percent on the board right now for Pika Pika. Yeah, he's, it's, he's it's not a, let him get a This hit. is a very slow game, albeit, but I think it's working out in his favor. Pika Pika definitely controlling the momentum of this yeah, game. Yeah, he realized probably in that game too, he played a little more aggressive than he wanted to. He's, he's realizing he just needs to slow it down, wait for those openings, catching that forward air into the ground there. Ooh. Look at that stage spike. And this is this is where it's Dark Samus falls as a character in the stage. Like just to, her landing options are just versus Pika um Pikachu's just um aerials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just he's hitting just her stuff up air crap out after her. up air after up air. But the Ferox? <laughs> he's living in a Quite, quite high percents, both these stocks now. I mean, Samus is a pretty heady person. I feel like we're going to get to 200 here before Pika lands a kill. Nah, nah. Oh, oh, oh you're right. Okay. Weak, weak. Prove me wrong, I guess. Attack. Yeah. If he got the full hit of that, that would have definitely killed yeah. up air killing at 206. Reasonable. <laughs> I don't think the air is where you want to be at mm. high percents against Pikachu. Three, four. Ooh, yeah. It, Spot dodge to cover that grab, but we're, we're resetting here. Pika Pika going in. It's, it's interesting how Neferfox opts for the grabs at these types of situations. I I wouldn't recommend it. It's it as someone like you no, know, as someone who rarely plays Samus. Grabbing the first thing I think of when I'm playing this character. This but Neverfox oh. like knows how to utilize that move in general and just use it in both as a conditioning option. And like as like a, a small advantage option. Yeah, it was working out really well before, but Pika Pika kind of running oh. away with this game now. Up, throws him up and then does nothing. Maybe wants to punch the landing, keep it safe. He has to stock lead. Doesn't want to, you know, overdo it. And he's got no jump. He's in tether. And you, and you, it's interesting how like you see. He lets um I like how the um how he like landed him specifically in that moment earlier. How he um there was some distance between him. So he would um distance between them and doesn't matter. The moment's real. The moment's <laughs> People forgot to 
Maybe he's, he's punting his landing ox as well as getting hit. Yeah, well, yeah. Ooh, that's oh, that. Oh, yeah. Don't agree with that up B. A dangerous up B. Yeah. At that percent. Yeah, Neverfox went for like crazy options at such high percents. Yeah, What could say Brave? But good stuff to both players.